Hello there. Data collection is what we will be talking in this videos and this video will be quite short for you to understand. Now we'll talk about data collection possible uh, possibilities of where we can do it from. If possible, the methods and the sourcing of data should be done uh, from different aspects altogether. And it should not vary with one particular uh, modalities of collection. And believe me or not, the, um, the mere fact that you are approaching the data collection through various forms, various types, various modes, various uh, ways, none of the collection methods are inferior to the other as long as the data collected is factual. Each has its own pros and cons. Obviously, each method might have their own uh, own advantages and disadvantages and this must be weighted up to understand the rich and complex content thereby. The process, the process we'll talk about. Remember, uh, every process needs to be have a sound fundamental knowledge and it should be systematic in design, should be thorough altogether. Now, data collection process should uh, include a thorough planning. Absolutely, yes, a thorough planning is required from what method you are going to approach, how long will you going to take approach it uh, to collect the data, what will be the cost involvement to it. Should be a well considered development, effective piloting, a small Piloting should be done before actually collecting it from the whole sample altogether. But this pilot will actually tell it to you as in how good the data was going to come around it. Then probably we have to take them to the weighted modification in case there are any anomalies with the piloting collection of data. Deliberate implementation and execution and appropriate management and analysis of what we look at forward to and that is what data collection process is all about it. Surveys. Surveys involve gathering of information from individuals using a questionnaire and this questionnaire can be mailed, this questionnaire can be approached in person along with everybody around them. We need to understand time and again as what is happening, what can be done what should be done. Surveys can reach, the advantage of surveys it can reach a large number of respondents. A generate a standard that needs to be taken across time and again. Designing survey instruments capable of generating enough things, however difficult it can be. And that is what we look forward. So designing survey instruments what what are the methods of doing around it? Should we have a design where it should be an open-ended question where people are supposed to write it up or it should have been a close-ended question? Are we looking for a clustered responses? Are we looking for a structured responses? How are we going to go around it? And that is what is most important as on when on basis. These things has to be included then and there. Surveys can be descriptive or explanatory. It involves entire population, samples of population, captures a moment or a map trend, can be administered in a number of ways as the case might be. So surveys can be descriptive, can be explanatory, can involve the entire population. It can involve, definitely it's an easiest method to approach a large scale of population or probably even a sample might do it. Capture the moment or the map trends can be administered in a number of ways. Survey construction involves formulating questions, their responses. Did I say a clustered responses or structured responses? There are two, two collections that needs to be go around, go around it. What can go around it? We have the cluster responses and then we have something called a structured responses and they have their own advantages and disadvantages. Structured response is much more easier. Clustered responses has to be inferred upon it. So working through the organizations and the length Determining the layout and the design thereby. Interviewing is one of the most easiest method of collecting data. Why? Because interviewing can be done in person. Interviewing can be done with an open-ended question and the researcher can actually understand, study the body languages of what the person is saying and what the person intends to say. Interview can generate 
both standardized quantifiable data, more in-depth qualitative data. However, the complexities of people, the complexities of communication can create many opportunities for miscommunication, misrepresentation, and misinterpretation. That is what have the anomalies of interviewing method is all about it. The types, interview can be both two types, formal and informal, structured, unstructured, can be involving one-to-one -one or one-to the whole group. So that these are the various types that goes around a formal interview where there is a pedagogy where somebody has been defined a role. In fact, everybody has been defined a role. So it's a completely formal, uh, let's say, uh, interview for a job. Informal is where you like to take a feedback altogether and it can be not in an organization, can be a social setting also about the workings of the provincial government, the local government or any other feedback that you want to go around it. This these all the interviews can be structured with the rest of a question that follows in sequence or unstructured as in based on the first question the responses whatever the responses have been uttered by the respondent or the interviewee you frame the next per, uh, following question so that is unstructured and remember interviews can be done in one person or in a group conducting interviews you will need to have questions prompt and probe based that gives you rich data now that is what i have been trying to tell it to you if it is a structured interviews you will have a list of questions which are going to elicit certain responses and then you can have an unstructured responses based on the response of the previous question that the interview has been asking actively listen make sense of what has been said manage the overall process as on when on basis and that is most important altogether Observations relies to the researcher's ability to get, gather data through their senses, allow researchers to document actual behavior rather than the responses related to the behavior. And that is what observation is all about it. Did I say during the interview process, the researchers can observe the body languages and what are they a, implicating. However, the observation can be differently when surveyed. An observation can be tainted from the researcher's worldview. The researchers can be biased over a particular point of view, and he or she might put in that prism before analyzing the data that has been collected. Observation types it can be non participant to participant, so a non actor to an actor, as, as I keep on saying. Who is a non participant who is not into the scheme of things, probably, to a participant who is actually involved in the scheme of things? Candid and covered. Candid is open, free, frank discussion. Covered is your understanding. You are there as an observer, probably, which nobody is aware of it. It's a covered operation from structured to unstructured, as the case might be of observation type. The observation process is sometimes treated casually, but is a method that should be rigorous as any other method. Why? Because everything needs to be pointed it out. The process should include planning. The process should include observing. The process should include recording. Did I use the word recording? Yes. The process should understand or reflect upon what has been recorded and authenticated time and again. Experimentation explores the causes and the effect to any event, any relationship by manipulating the independent variables. In order to see if there are corresponding effect on the dependent variable then and there as on when on basis. Pure experimentation requires both control environment and the use of randomly assigned control group this can be difficult to achieve in a human centered experiment conducted in a real time basis on a real world knowledge so what is a real world experiment these are many experiments plentiful experiment that can be carried out in a messy uncontrolled environment of the real world let's say in a college setting let's say in a jail setting let's say in a hospital setting let's say in a luxurious uh, stay in a five star hotel setting so you have so many of uncontrolled environment that have just stated out and so to search for the causes and affected will require the trade offs between the real world context and a controlled environment that is what i have been setting i have just giving you settings from different perspective and you can have a experience a social experiment done out there you will see different outcomes based on the environment just about it just a questionnaire i believe this one of the easiest and the safest method uh, of the survey there are advantages disadvantages 
also let's say the advantages are it's quick to administer definitely once you frame the question you just have to distribute it can get a large amount of responses yes in a very short amount of time allows employee part participation they can do it at own luxury does not require trained interviews and relatively inexpensive where the disadvantages is the quality of information related to the co quality of questionnaire it might differ why because people the respondent might not understand your questionnaire at all questions at all and he or she might uh, misinterpret the question and give different answer must have a high school reading and writing ability so there should be people who should be literate enough should have a proper understanding of the situation of what the question has been put through often needs to follow up interviews and observation may be difficult to construct may have a low response rate responses often more often than not are incomplete responses may be difficult to interpret in an open ended question online survey the use of internet has made a huge difference to the way surveys are conducted and has become a science unto him itself quick to implement lower cost higher result and that is what online surveys are all about it we'll talk about face to face interview most information informative methods of collecting qualitative data because human interactions provide the opportunities for an insight to the people behavior responses which is of immense value now how do we go into it we can go door to door people are contacted at home in person abundant in developed due to high cost developed economies due to high cost of transport and stuff street shopping mall intercepts popular in developing economies some malls cons considers it's a nuisance telephone interview is less than time consuming less expensive and the researcher has ready access to anyone on the planet who has a telephone provided you have the connections provided you have the um, uh, facility that the research the uh, telephone interview is ready to accept your call provided he or she doesn't feel offended disadvantage is that the response rate is not as high as face to face interview but considered considerably higher than the male questionnaire the sample may be biased to an extent the people without phones are not part of the population about whom the researcher wants to draw inf inference altogether so that is that's the only bias that that comes around it and it might not represent the complete popul uh, population or together the sample will be only of the people who has an access to a mobile or a telephone so yes we have face to face interviews door to door the street shopping mall intercepts and the telephone interview around it we come to the last uh, thing in web based questionnaire is a new inevitable growing methodology of using internet based research this would mean receiving an email on which you click on an address that would take you to a secure website to fill in a questionnaire these type of research is often much 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 quicker and less 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 detail some advantages of this method include the exclusion of people who do not have computers who do not have a mail id who do not have an internet or are unable to access one also the validity of questionnaires are as people might be in a hurry to complete it so might not give exactly the accurate responses computer assisted interviewing method or capi is a form of personal interview but instead of completing a question at the interview brings up a laptop or handheld computer to enter information directly into the database this method saves time involved in processing the data as well as saving the interview from carrying out hundreds of questionnaire however this data collection method can be very expensive to set up and requires that interview have to have a computer and a typing skill so the disadvantage is, is again people without a computer and internet or the knowledge about it might be excluded from such research but then these are the possible ways of collecting data all together i have elaborated in numerous methods of collecting data right from interviewing right from observation right from uh, charting right what a questionnaire is all about it thank you for watching this video till the end i hope the data collection method has become much more easier for you to understand and probably to implement